geometry levels are definitely useful and for now we only checked this on geometries that had the same depth. And let's prepare another geometry, but this time each pocket will have a different depth. And at the beginning let's draw a score with dimensions of 240 by 240. Select a rectangle command and as the first corner pick x0, y0 and as the second corner 240 and 240. Okay. Let's change the view to the XY view. Okay. And now let's draw a circle with a diameter of 200. Okay. And the center 120 and 120. Okay. And now let's draw in another square. So choose the rectangle command and as the first corner x0, y0 and second corner x30 and y30, ok. And now let's draw the diagonal of the square, select the line and select endpoint of from this to this. Okay, and now let's move this rectangle with the base point in the center of the diagonal. Select edit, move, select this square, select this line, accept the selection and base point, select midpoint of snap and select this line and Let's move this geometry to the this point. Okay. Let's delete this diagonal. Okay. And let's add some fillets. Select fillet command. Fillet radius type in here 10 and select here all, click OK, select geometry and accept the selection and before we proceed to create more geometry so let's set the geometry direction arrow inside this square. From the machine tab select tool direction and select CCW and inside OK. And now to add the next geometries, we will use the rotate command, OK, and select this geometry, accept the selection, as the base point select the center of this circle, OK. And the rotate function is used to rotate elements by specified angle relative to the base point. But we can also use it as a kind of circular pattern. And enter here 360 divided by 12 as the rotation angle. And we can enter simple mathematical operation in this field and click OK. And now we need to specify the number of copies. If we enter 1, then our geometry will simply be rotated by 30 degrees. But if we enter 12, we get a circular pattern of 12 geometries. OK. Click right mouse button to cancel this command. Switch to the ISO view. And let's set the Z levels for those geometries now. OK, select 3D, set geometry Z levels, select this geometry. OK, and as top Z, type in here 0, bottom Z minus 1. OK, another will be minus 2, minus 3, and so on.
Okay. Okay, let's create material. Set materials. Minus 18. Okay. Select the tool. Flat 10. Okay. And select the pocketing. Select Auto Z. Select it. General tab leave defaults, parameters, levels, and cuts. Safe rapid distance 25. Fit down distance 5. Max depth per cut set to 1. Okay. Okay. Select all and deselect the circle and accept the selection. And thanks to the Z geometry levels, we machined 12 geometries of various depth in one operation. We don't need to define several machining strategies. If we add Z levels of geometry and machine geometries using the same strategy, we can do it in one operation. Okay.